Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Madian Kapsa, and I'll be talking today about the project that we have spent our summer working on. So me and my other three uh, fellows were working on mining congressional spending bills to identify earmarks. So if you are like me, when I started the summer, I didn't know what an earmark is. It's actually uh, an, a congressional appropriation that directs specific fund on a specific project. So you can argue, like there are a lot of arguments, like are earmarks a good thing or a bad thing? People can say, well, I mean, these representatives really know the need of their districts, so they should actually be the ones specifying where the money should go. Others say that actually earmarks are not being used for in that scope, and they're actually being used just to bring more money. And the famous example is the bridge to nowhere, uh, Ted Stevens, $400 million bridge to an island that no one goes to. So what happens that you actually come with these uh, congressional bills and reports, and they're massive. They're huge, like thousands of pages, and they're filled with text. And in this text, there are actually appropriations. And these appropriations can appear actually either inside tables or within free text. So what we ended up doing is taking these congressional bills and reports, bars all the report, all the actually tables that identify spending, and after that, classify it, whether is this actually an earmark spending or is this a regular spending. And the outcome of that is that we're able to build a database, actually, that can be containing all the earmarks all the way to the 104th Congress until now. And this database is actually something that has not been done before, and we hope to release this database and actually such that Public, pol public policy researchers can use it to study the history of earmarks, where do earmarks go, and where actually which states and counties get the majority of earmarks. So the DSSG team spent their summer to build actually uh, algorithms and extractors and classifiers that can work on congressional reports and bills. The output of our method actually can process an entire Congress, which is two years of legislations, bills, and reports, and 30 minutes to extract earmarks. In comparison, the Office of Management of Budget actually spent three months actually asking each uh, federal government agency to identify earmarks. So you have the entire federal government trying to find earmarks. They spent three months to come up with a database for one year. We spent three months actually building a system that can run in half an hour on an entire Congress. We would like actually to make this data set uh, public and open uh, after the end of our fellowship, and hopefully other public researchers can work on it and find interesting stuff in it. Thank you.